everyone, my name is Raven of DIY Raven, the blog, blog website, Instagram, YouTube channel, and today I'll be talking about or doing a sewing review, pattern review, of the York Pinafore by Helen's Closet, um, which I'm wearing right now, the low neck, and um, kind of like a pouch pocket, um, and this wild crazy print that I've been pretty excited about. From what I've gathered, a traditional pinafore is basically like an apron, um, but a pinafore dress is described as a sleeveless, collarless dress that's intended to be worn over a blouse, a shirt, a sweater, a t-shirt, basically how I'm wearing and, and most people that you'll see if you follow the hashtag on Instagram, how they wear it online. Um, so this beginner pattern by Helen's Closet is available, I think, only as a PDF. Um, the size range for this pattern goes from size 0 to 30. Um, she recently just had a re-release of this pattern to accommodate more extended sizes, so that's pretty awesome. For the smallest size, it's a 31 inch bust, 24 inch waist, and 33 inch hip. Um, and the size 30, it goes up to a 56 inch bust, 48 inch waist, and 58 inch hips. And I'll put the conversion for centimeters for you as well. So I knew that when I made mine, I wanted to make it um, for the season, obviously, and I wanted to make it as I've been doing kind of this whole season very bright and kind of out there. So I chose uh, this fabric is from Joanne Fabrics. It's one of their linen lookalike um, fabrics, but basically that means it's a 30% mix of 30% rayon and 70% 70, 70 polyester. So it's kind of actually um, a kind of a thicker weight material. It's a, probably like, like a medium weight. I think a lot of the um, the fabrics that she does suggest are actually a little lighter. So if you're gonna do like a denim, it would be a lightweight denim, or your tensils, or your chambrays, or, or things that were just kind of on a lighter spectrum. So if you're gonna do something thicker, just keep in mind about the bias binding. There's a version A and B. Um, I think version A consists of a longer neckline and a longer dress overall and two separate pockets, whereas version B, I think that it has like a shorter dress line, um, a higher neckline, and this like single kangaroo pocket that I kind of have going on. So I kind of did a big mix of both. So um, I took the neckline from A and then I took um, the the kangaroo pocket and the shorter dress length from B. Um, some of the things that I also really liked about this pattern was actually some of the more technical things. We all know how tedious PDF patterns can kind of be, um, but if you upgrade it to your latest Adobe uh, Acrobat, or maybe the version of Acrobat that you, reader that you have will support it, but you're able to turn off um, you know, it's gonna have like obviously like all the the pattern lines of, of all the sizes on the sheet, but you can just turn on the one that you'd like to see. So that way when you print everything out, it's just one, it's just the size that you want and you just put that together and, and cut that out. So I thought that was extremely helpful <laughs> and so nice because it gets really confusing, especially because it is um, it does now accommodate uh, so many sizes you can kind of easily lose track of like which which size you need to cut out. So the fact that you can kind of like single out, you know, your size that you like is extremely nice. And of course, if you're like in between sizes, you can leave like, you know, a couple layers on if you do want to keep like, you know, maybe, you know, two different sizes on. Because this is a beginner pattern and because I just noticed this with a lot with indie patterns, usually they understand the struggle I like working with big four patterns so they kind of do a really nice job of kind of walking you through the pattern um, with the instructions so Helen's closet pattern this Helen's closet pattern was no exception um, it's probably about 27 pages of instructions but she goes over you know what is bias 
how to make it, um, you know, different things you can do to lengthen, how to put together the PDF pattern. It's just a lot of things that, you know, I would rather have more information than not enough information. So I just thought that was extremely helpful. Also, this pattern has four pieces total, but you'd be only using three of them because it's basically a front, the back, and two different types of pockets. So you'll be choosing one or the other. In addition to also the bias um, tape, it's a pretty quick sew, so it's very re rewarding. And sometimes you really just need those like kind of quick makes to like kind of keep up your sojo and your sewing morale going. <laughs> but so I loved, I loved this pattern a lot. Um, and personally, this is something that I, I think I could probably see making again. I don't know how soon that will be just because I have a lot of things kind of lined up on my project list, but I'm really glad that I got around to this one. So I guess that's basically my review of the Helen's Closet York Pinafore. I definitely recommend it. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you a little bit and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.